Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Valkyria Chronicles. We've got a very story-heavy episode ahead of us. So uh, let's get into it. we got the end of chapter 10 and whatever the chapter, the beginning of chapter 11 is like. So let's dig in. Liberation Eternal. everyone to go into this building then set it on fire for what she was just a kid Somebody tell me who did this! I'll tear their stinking heads off! And what would that accomplish? Revenge! That's what? Fight fire with fire? An eye for an eye? Didn't enough people die today? Even if our traditions lead us to death at the hands of others, we don't respond with violence. When we die, we die for peace. That is how the Darksun live their lives. Now those lives are gone. Forever. But... why? I could hate them. Maybe even kill them. But that wouldn't bring those people back. All I can really do... is try to survive and help the ones who are still here. be other survivors. Everybody, help us look. Well, it's nice to see Rosie maybe coming around, even though it takes something horrible for that to happen. in part to Squad 7's efforts, militia forces reclaimed the city of Fausen. Returning from battle, the squad's members enjoyed a brief and well-deserved respite. I was walking across base just now, and the guys from Squad 2 stopped me. They said everybody felt like we got Fausen back because of us 7s. I was like... Largo's happy face. Well, yeah. We took down that train after all. I want a medal. I wonder how Zaka and everyone are doing. I hear most of the detainees have either stayed on in Fausen or evacuated to Rangri's. Oh. Well, I hope they're all doing well now. Well, hello there. Yo. M Mr. Zaka? Oh, wait, that uniform. Oh yeah, good point. Oh, this? As of today, I'm a Gallian militia man, same as you. They put me in your squad, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Wait, just a... Can you even fight? What was all that about living the Darkson way? Eh, don't sweat the details, right? And I've got experience as a tank commander. Tank commander? My ride's on the smallish side, but you can leave the ground unit support to me. And I thought your boss was pretty righteous. I figured I'd tag along and see for myself. Pretty righteous. Oh, man. What? Me? Well, we didn't get to talk much, but you've got a fresh perspective, you know? Hmm. I guess so. I don't think I'm much different than other folks, though. Welkin, you're so clueless. Anyhow, I'm excited to join the team. <laughs> huh. Does that mean we get another tank now? That'd be kind of pretty awesome, actually. The Marbury Shore. 
All sorts of new stuff. Um, let's see. I just want to check out the skirmishes real quick here. What do we got? Uh, upper thousand, okay. And let's go back to headquarters because usually when there's a new chapter, you get new units. So I'll take a quick look there. Hello, well. Nope, there is nobody new today. Okay, that's fine. Come back. And we'll go check out uh, writing on the wall and see if there are any new chapters there. Hey. Oh, and how? I couldn't help. Yep, yep. As usual, keep these on for a couple of seconds so you can read them. Nothing new yet. Which is probably good. We don't really have a lot of money. It's stuff getting really expensive. Let's see if this guy has anything else for us now. It's a weird old man. Hello. I'll teach you oh, awakened awaken potential. potential today. Use it to call forth the natural potential lying dormant inside an allied unit. Well. Sure. I wonder if that just automatically triggers their potentials. Very good. I hope. And uh, let's go to R and D. I don't think we can do anything. Welcome. Outfit tanks. Oh, the Shamrock. So we do have two tanks now. Turret top Zaka's Shamrock can be outfitted with one of three weapons. Anti-armor, mortars, Gatling gun, or flamethrower. Wow. So we have to pick one. He always gets the mortar and the machine gun, but we have to pick between anti-armor, Gatling gun, or flamethrower. Kind of tempted to try the flamethrower just because it sounds pretty badass. Um, I feel like it's not going to be very useful, though. Does do a lot of personality. Well, I mean, we'll try it out. Um, and it looks like I don't think he gets. Oh, does he get parts? Yeah. Oh, but they're different parts. Oh man, it's gonna get really expensive. I bet. Let's see what it costs to develop stuff here. Wow, that's pricey. Holy cow. Drive system. Yikes. Well, we probably want the body HP regardless. And the defense. That, those are probably necessary upgrades no matter what we do with it. And uh, let's check quickly for our new weapons. Can't afford the accuracy, man. This stuff's, I might have to do a little bit of grinding off screen. This stuff's getting really expensive. We still haven't gotten like the accuracy boost for this, and I'm not sure why. I wish we would, though. I uh, might get the firepower boost for the lance. Unless there's new armor. There is. Okay, that's, mo that's most important in my opinion. And it should be one for the these guys too? Yep, alright. How many more suits are there? Looks like four. Alright, that's all we can afford right now. So, uh head back out and get back to our story time. Not really enough experience to upgrade, I don't think. Everybody gather around. I've got our orders. The target is on Galia's northern coast. Marbury, huh? The enemy's entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. 
Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes I wonder if that counts steeply. as desert. Their camp is at the top. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. That said, they've lined the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? Boss, I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. <laughs> Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. Sounds a little too much D-Day here. Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You don't gotta... I know that, all right? You're right. If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Welkin? Any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't have any silver bullets for this. Why don't we take the smaller tank? What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. A way to blind them. Ah, uh, this is just great. Come on, let's stay positive about this. Tomorrow's the feast of all spirits. The what? I'm bad on the feast, huh? We sure got some kind of luck, don't we? Well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. If we could... Hmm. They may not need nine lives. Seems like Asara has a plan. Somebody said tomorrow's the feast, right? I forgot all about it this year. Hey now, do you guys even know the reason for this holiday? Nope, sure don't. Reason? It's the day you give presents to the guy you like, ain't it? <laughs> oh, Rosie. Yes, but no. The feast of all spirits is the day all the spirits in Galia share their love. They say the practice of giving gifts to those you love came from that belief. Back in the day, people gave presents to everyone important to them, not just lovers. Bingo! Give the man a prize! For a big grizzly bear, you sure know your stuff. Oh, it keep it in your pants. How gracious of you to say. <laughs> Though I like to think I'm more of a teddy bear. Largo, Rosie, may I have a moment? Sure. I'm surprised to see you in the lounge. What's up? Would you accept these gifts? This is... from before. These dolls are darks and good luck charms. I wanted to give them to you and Rosie. Why to us? I... I've always wanted to be your friend, from the first day. We may have had our share of disagreements, but you've helped me more than I can say. I'd like to use the feast as an opportunity to grow a little closer to both of you. I see. You know, seeing Fausen gave me a lot to think about. Plus, I, you know, I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now, too. Largo blush is pretty cute. For being so young, you got some perspective. Still a little bullheaded, though. Coming from the master himself. Thanks for the lucky charm. And for coming out here, Isara. Largo. Thank you so much. I... I can't take it. Aw, oh, come on, Rosie. Rosie, you ain't a kid here. Quit being so damn stubborn already. You shut it. I just... Look. I got no need for presents from dark hairs, okay? I understand. I'm sorry. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I think I'm done too. Look, I know you've been wanting to apologize. Just out and say it already, damn it. 
Look, shut up. I know, okay? I know, but I... I can't just change overnight. I'm not that big a person. <laughs> Inner turmoil. Alicia's gift, oh boy. Did she get welcome some bugs? It's just too open. We need some kind of plan. Welcome. <laughs> what the hell? Harold! What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands. That's... You found a modeled vagabond. They're migratory butterflies, but they shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more than once before, but I never had any luck. Then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. But you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. Wrong. Work power. And Hans? Wait, is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. I mean, tomorrow's the feast of all spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Wow. Thank you. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. You went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Welkin? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. I hope things go well for the two of us. I, I mean... Huh? I... Oh, Welkin, don't be clueless. Me too. Good boy. Sara, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. No, <laughs> don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Exactly. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. And she doesn't really tomorrow's not handle herself up. either. Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak with Welks about it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. And she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. I hope she's not talking about that plane. I don't trust that thing yet. Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? 
I apologize for being late. Welks, it's done. You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe hmm. from fire. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. Can you just finish them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans, too. Oh, good. Pork family. I don't want... None of you can die. My cat is apparently very moved by this scene. Oh, jeez. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Isara, you... Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Yeah, this battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out! Kind of have a bad feeling about this. Well, next time we'll get into the uh, battle in Marbury Shore. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Covers the story for a little while. And, uh... Yeah, if you liked the video, click like. Helps out a lot. And subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.